Key Education Points How Physical Therapists Can Cause CRPS How Stress Management Helps CRPS How Intravenous Ketamine Prevents Prolonged Pain After Tactile Stimulation, that is, Hyperpathia So today is uh, April uh, 25, um, 2011, and uh, you're from the West Palm Re Beach region of Florida, and you're here for the three-day ketamine treatment, okay? Um, the first thing we want to do here is we want to go over your history a little bit, okay? Uh, prior to this year, that's 2011, you had two surgeries in that right shoulder region. Um, you had a third one, and then things really got nasty. Uh, you got an increase in pain in that region and for the first time you had spreading of pain down into the right hand, correct? Yes. Now you've had um, an attempt at a stellate ganglia block. I say an attempt because we're not even sure you got a stellate ganglia block because there's no evidence that you experienced a warming of your right upper extremity and um, there's no evidence that the doctor bothered to check on that. So we don't know if you even had a stellate ganglia block at this point. Um, now the other thing about your situation which is a little concerning is you were seen by a physical therapist and they did what we call passive manipulation of that extremity. And we discussed how that is strictly, strictly contraindicated if you have RSD because you can actually make it worse if you start stretching, especially the shoulder region, okay? Um, so this is where we are right now. So we discussed uh, the possibility of having one or three or so stellate ganglia blocks repeated where they where they were done appropriately under safe conditions. And we uh, talked about the three-day ketamine treatment, right? And you decided on the three-day ketamine treatment because... It's more effective. <laughs> well, why do you say that? Give us um, a little insight into that. I, for me, I think it's the best chance of going into remission. But and why? it's in a shorter time. And You're on the spot. <laughs> Now, we talked about the fact that you just don't have it in your shoulder. We have evidence that you have spreading onto the left side of your body, including your leg. And when you do a stellate ganglia block, it's a, very, it's a very focused treatment, okay? We also talked about now that we've had two well-controlled clinical trials with ketamine. We know it works, and my own experience tells me it works. So we can feel very confident that we're probably going to help you quite a bit through this uh, treatment. Now, we do know there's some risk involved, right? You're going to get anesthesia. You know, anesthesia uh, is, has risk. I mean, you guys weren't born yesterday. But the risks are minimal. We've never had any serious complications from the anesthetic. But we have seen occasionally, but not commonly, the three-day uh, ketamine treatment, uh, uh, somebody gets a bad dream, okay? And that's why your it's important that your husband be in the room at your bedside at the time, because if that happens, it's over by the time you uh, wake up, okay? So, um, so you're aware of that, right? Okay, all right. Now, we're gonna put you through some exercises, okay? Are you ready? Yes. First thing is the vertical finger test. I want you to put, look straight ahead, don't look at me. Put two fingers in your mouth, see if you have any pain when you do that. Any pain? No. Okay, next, I want you to take that right hand and see if you, how far you can get before you feel like I'm torturing you to death to get that behind your head. See what you can do there. That's about it? Okay, very good, good job. Next thing we're going to have you ask you to do is do it with your left. See if you can get your, your left hand behind your head. Are you having any pain when you do that? Very good. Excellent. Now I want you to take that right hand as best you can get it out in front of you and open and close it as fast as you can. Don't use your thumb too at the same time. Open and close as fast. It's kind of stiff, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, very good. Now, and, and, and the point is you're, you're having pain when you do that, right? Mm -hmm. And point to where the pain is most intense, both when I asked you to go over your head and... Uh, where did you feel the pain when you went over your head most? Where was the it pain most? Pain is here. It's like a band. right in there, it's and like it is painful. Correct. Something is like a band. It's like okay. A band. Gotcha. Okay. Something. All right. Very yeah. good. Right. Okay. Now you may, now the other thing we did. Oh, right before we get uh, sidetracked here, do the uh, left hand first. Get it out in front of you. Open and close as fast as you can. Fast, 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 fast. Good girl. Okay. Now you see we got some marks down here, aren't you? Where you start to get what we call allodynia. So what I want you to do now is I want you to take your hand with your eyes closed and go down and start up here somewhere and come down and stop and stop when you get into the area that is like it's like road burn. Yeah, right, right there? there? Okay, very good. Good job. Now I want you to start out here more. Start out there more and come down. See if you can get down further or about the same. Go ahead. 
When you get into it, point to where, where it starts, please. Right here. Let me see where your finger is. Oh, further out. Yeah, okay. All right, that's good. Well, that's why we do it with it blind, so we get the most accurate most accurate possible picture. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to turn our attention down to your ankles and your feet. Take that right foot off the ground, please. Rotate your ankle for me. a girl. Good, good, good. Wiggle your toes, please. Hitchhike back, uh, back to the west palm region. Okay, good. Now do the same with the left side, please. Wiggle your toes, please. Good. Hitchhike. There you go. Good. Now I want you to get in front of the door there. I'm going to, just for safety reasons, I'm going to ask your husband to stand by your side on your left side, please. <clears throat> Now I want you to take three steps forward, please. Add a girl. Good job. Three steps back, please. Add a girl. Good, good, good. Now I want you to tell me if you had any pain when you did that. No. No pain. Okay. Now what I'm going to ask you to do is I want you to get up on your toes and I want you to take three steps forward, please. Add a girl. Three steps forward. Three steps back on your toes, please. On your toes. Add a girl. Did you have any pain when you did that? The pain is starting now. It's like a burning on the bottoms of my feet. And which is worse, right or left? It's equal, unfortunately. It's equal and it's burning. Yeah, it's is it still burning right now? Yes. Okay. So it's something that lingers on. It doesn't go away right away, does right. it? Okay. And point to where you feel the burning sensation. Let's take your left side. Point to where it's most intense. Right around, right here. Right in there? Mm -hmm. Kind of on the, on the ball of your foot. Right where I walked on it. Right, exactly. Okay, the next thing we're going to have you do here is we're going to have you walk on your heels, please, toward me. Add a girl. Very good. And walk on your heels back, please. Good. Okay, very good. Okay, now, did you have pain when you did that? Not until I was coming back, and now they're burning as well. Now they're burning as well. Okay. So, in other words, you're still feeling the burning sensation from walking on your toes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, very good. Excellent. Okay, you can go ahead and sit down, please. Now, Jen, I want to turn my attention over here to your husband, and I'm going to ask him to kind of describe what life was like before all these surgeries and stuff. I mean, what kind of a life was she leading? Well, we'd be going way, way, way back before she had any surgeries at all. Uh, but uh, she's not a very active person sports-wise. Mm -hmm. But uh, the only thing I can say now, actually, since she's had this uh, shoulder surgery, is mm -hmm. she's complaining about all these burning sensations and these pains mm -hmm. and the lack of the ability to do her rehab properly. Mm -hmm. uh, to get to the next level we need to get to with the rehab because of uh, what we think is the RSD. Right, gotcha. Based on your assumption. Right. But before we would go out and we'd have you know, fun. And Movies that are, you know, we'd go out and go out in a boat. But no, I didn't play football. Maybe snorkeling, which is very mild. No, I understand. Okay. Right. But I think what the message here is that you were more socially engaged yes. uh, prior to all this, which is kind of typical. And it kind of goes along with sometimes people feel kind of depressed, kind of hopeless, and that adds to isolation, you know, type of thing. And yeah. that is the biggest difference, I think. It's not necessarily what she did for sports, but not really wanting to go out and do things right now because she's hurting. Right. Whereas before she wasn't hurting, so therefore you can go out and sure. be in a social atmosphere and, and be social and feel good about right. yourself. Whereas exactly. right now she doesn't feel that way. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Now, this is a time, uh, we'll have plenty of time to ask me questions on the record, but this is a chance to, at least initially, if you have any concerns, anything you want to ask me about the the ketamine or what we're going to do, any concerns? Okay. No, I'm ready. Okay. Yeah, uh, yes, the only concern I'd like this to go on record is um, when we talked about the treatments with the physical therapy, um, yes, they were passive, but they were aggressive at times, which I witnessed because I was in there learning about these so I can also help her. And uh, some of the movements I consider aggressive in the fact that when she's in pain to a certain point where you have somebody helping you, they would take it to another level to do the teardown to give you more range of motion, which I think might work against the RSD. No, it's dangerous. It's so, not. It's not. A, it's not. It's worse than just working against it. It can actually really set it off and make right. it much worse than it is. So that may have created a flare-up in my. From yeah, what I've absolutely. Learned so far. Absolutely, and we see this all the time. If you go to watch some of the videos that we have up on our website, you'll see that's precisely what's happened. Patients have gone through the ketamine and did remarkably well. Then they go and see their physical therapist, and they get a big setback because they they go into these passive manipulations. And, and one more thing, I'd like to make uh, just for the record uh, a statement is um, the possibility of um, the physical therapist taking it to another level right after the, the block because she would be numb. So therefore, because of the human factor, it would take the human factor and the pain out of it so they can take her shoulder to another level. Yeah, again, that's not right. a good thing. She needs to be making the movements she feels comfortable with. One okay. of the things we're going to talk about on Friday is your treatment plan, and we're going to discuss a lot of these things in great detail. Okay.
Sure. We're going to talk about what kind of exercise would work best. We're going to talk about how how does she know she may need another ketamine infusion? What would be the, the, the most accurate way to, to make that determination? We're going to talk about that. Um, now, you're going to watch the 12-minute uh, the video, right? I've uh, watched it a couple times today, yeah. Good, good for you. And then you're, you're going to ask me any questions about uh, anything because it goes into some it's a 12 minute video but it goes into some depth of what goes on in the room you know what how we okay. why we monitor why we do this why we do that okay right now you got to come up with five questions okay simple questions you know that right okay all right we'll talk about those in just a minute all right okay any other questions none okay out in three he's about a three yep Jim says you're about a three and she's on 200. You've been doing pretty good here. Hey, Jenna. Hello. Howdy. Hi. Hi. Uh, Jim's got a couple questions for you, okay? Are you ready? Go ahead. Okay, Jenna, what state do you live in? Florida. Good girl. One more. What is your husband's name? What is your husband's name? Jenna. Jenna. Can you answer the question? What's your husband's name, Jana? Jana. Give her a tap on the forehead. Okay. Honey, can you hear me? Open your eyes wide. Okay, what is your husband's name? Okay, we're gonna try another one. What is your son's name? What is your son's name? Hello, Jana. Hello. Hey, Jana. Over here. Jana, is anybody home? Hey, Jana. Over here. Over here. What's your husband's name, Jana? Huh? What's his name? What is your husband's name, Jana? <laughs>